Hi everybody, how y'all doing? Today I'm going to be spending some attention on my Oldsmobile Bravada. I've been putting it off, but i got to get this thing ready so we can loan it to my son-in-law and his family. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. And uh, It's just a bunch of nickel and dime things that it needs some attention to. So, the transmission fluid was low. It needed a new battery. The door handle on the passenger side needs replaced. I replaced the one on the driver's side already. They were both broken, you know, I guess they froze and somebody pulled up on them, broke them off. Um, the tailgate wouldn't open, so I had to work with that. I got it to where it'll open, but there's a push button on the dash that activates an actuator in the tailgate. And it doesn't work, so I'm going to check the button before I hook the battery up to see if it, the button's good. I know it gets I know it gets power a, a small current that goes to a relay that triggers 12 volts to come back to the actuator and I don't think the relay is good but I'm gonna check the switch just to double check make sure whether I need to replace that switch or not and, uh, and then the windows are funny the sl slides that go up in the track are missing on the driver's side window and so when you roll the window down it leans forward and gets all out of whack I bought some of those tried to put them on and they act like they're the windows too fat I'm gonna mess with that a little bit again before I take them back and or, or whatever I do anyway that's what we're up to so let me show you what I've done up here first of all See this key keychain and wire hanging out of there well, I had this apart. And I hooked that onto the wire that releases the latch mechanism. And I put new actuators on it. I don't know that you can see that. No, of course not. I put new actuators on it so it'll actually open. And uh, the tailgate does work. It needs cleaned out too, it needs vacuum. Because they've already put the cover back on it. And what I did is I just hooked that wire onto the uh, the cable that pulls this latch mechanism. And then I put grease on it so it'll slide through that rubber. So it's kind of like a fail safe. But there's actually a push button up on the dash. And I don't know if you can see it, but if I zoom in from here, you may be able to see it. There it is right there. There's the push button right next to the radio, that gray one. The square one down in the left hand corner there. That's the push button that releases this. And that's what I'm going to be checking. I got to drop that cover panel off of there. And then check it for continuity. See if that switch needs replaced. So that's what I'm going to do first. I've already put the transmission fluid in. I put in a pint. And after I hook up the battery, we'll check that. So. Let me drop that out of there and we'll check it. Alright, so I got that all unscrewed from the dash, hooked my voltmeter on it, for checked the res for continuity through that switch, and it has continuity, continuity through it without being depressed. And when I press it, it gets more, which means it's trying to work all the time which means I gotta track down whatever it's hooked to on the other end of those wires and unplug them to test the switch good which requires me to get under the dash take all those panels off fish around until I find the right wires and whatever it is so I'm gonna put that on the back burner for now this tailgate it'll open right now the way I've got it actually you know what I think I'm gonna hook the battery up and start the motor let it run and then check that transmission fluid again see if I got it right I put a pint in it so that's what I'm gonna do I imagine you can see that I went and got a brand new battery earlier went to Walmart it's the closest place with the cheapest costs 
just as cheap as I could find ever ready sorry ever start 12 volt battery it's got 650 cold cranking amps the positive and neutral terminals are on the same side as the old one so the cables will reach I'm gonna clean up the old cables and uh, attach them and I bought some of this stuff it's got those coated foam savers plus that corrosive preventive spray to spray on there after you're done I've always liked that stuff it seems to work well and uh, put that all in place so I'm gonna do that you don't you don't need to watch me do that probably all right, got the battery in This dash lights up really nice. Little tachometer down here in the bottom. Idling right at a thousand. Hundred and forty th hundred and thirty six thousand miles. Yeah. Got the oil pressure, water temperature. Water temperature doesn't say anything. I'll bet it's either not plugged in or something funny there. Oil pressure, about 50. Quarter tank of gas, 14 volts in the battery. Alright. And when I push that button for that tailgate, nothing happens. So I'm just gonna let that idle for a little bit. See this window? See how it leans forward now? Falls out of track. There's that hole where that slider goes. This is what one of those sliders looks like. It goes on the window. It snaps, go into those holes and snap together. They push it back in the slide channel track. And these little wings hang on to keep it from falling out like it's doing there. Let me show you. I know you can barely see the hole there. See it? Right there. But when I put this on there, it does actually stick through there. But getting it to snap has been somewhat of a trick. I couldn't get it to do it the other day. I'm gonna mon monkey with that for a minute. There it snapped. There it snapped. And then there's one in the bottom corner in the front too. So I've got to see if I can get it to fall out of the track some more so I can get to it and then put it in place. Which I'm not going to make you watch me monkey with all that. I'm just going to try to do it. Alright, after wrestling with that thing for about an hour, I was finally able to get that bottom one on there. And it still wants to come out. I found that that little roller in there was off the track. I got it back in there and lubed it up and got it moving. 
I silicone the whole inside of that the track that goes all the way around I silicone this whole thing with a non-oil silicone adhesive or not adhesive but lubricant and uh, when it goes down it still wants to pitch forward and come out of the track see see what it's doing right here see a little black thing right there where I was pointing that's that slider it's supposed to grab in there and not let it do that I don't know I don't know May just be one of them quirky little deals with an old car. If I hold it, it doesn't do it, but I shouldn't have to hold it. I don't like that popping noise either. Anyway, it goes up. I'm gonna put the door panel on it and call it good and learn to live with it. These older cars, I don't know what we're going to do with this thing anyway. We're going to loan it to them for a while and then hopefully someday we're going to trade this and our Cougar for something newer. So that's the plan. I'm going to put the door panel back on there and go do that door handle on the other side. Alright. So I took my Wonder Bar and I went around and I pried all these things loose I've never seen them like this before, but these I can pull out and screw back into the panel and then reuse them. Usually they just break off their card, these are cardboard instead of plastic. So uh, the door panel itself I'm talking about has always been cardboard on the ones I've always done before. This one's all plastic and those little white things will actually come out of here and screw back into these holes so I can reuse them. Of course I took the screws out of everything. But let me show you what happened. And then I took a, well, let me back up. I took a, what I believe is a 13 millimeter socket on a couple extensions, stuck it through the holes, unscrewed the nuts to hold the actual handle on. I'm oh, sorry, I don't know if you can see what I'm trying to show you. Okay, yeah, and they fell off down in the bottom of the door, so I had to fish those out. And those are just little doofus washers. Nuts, I mean. You see the kind I'm talking about? They're not real hardened, thick nuts. They're that stamped steel type kind of thing that you tighten them too tight, they strip right off. And of course, the broken part fell down in the grass, which is fine. No problem there. But let me show you what happened. I opened the package with the new handle in it and it I'm sorry zoom back out as soon as I opened the package and touched the handle it sprang apart in my hands like a mouse trap I thought what the heck so I figured out how to finesse I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but up inside there, there's a little wire that acts as a spring so that when you open it, it closes back. And then this part, which is actually the same as this, there we go, has two little fingers, one that sticks out here and here and here, and it slips up in a slot there on the handle which is retained, now this is where it gets tricky it gets retained by I don't know how well this will I don't know if you can see that little pin right there yeah you can see it but if you look on this side yeah there isn't one so one that's squeaked by quality control that's why it came apart. That was supposed, This part was supposed to be put on there and that pin was supposed to be put in there and riveted. Well, they didn't do that. So now I've got to try to find a 
I could order a new one. I could call the guys back on eBay and contact them and say, look, you sent me a defective part. Or I can just try to make this one work. So if I had a small machine screw that would fit in there, I could tap that and screw it in there. But I believe it's supposed to be flush so it doesn't rub on the body panel or anything. And of course, they look like they're riveted in. It might be like a steel roll pin type thing, which I don't have any roll pins that small. I do have, however, a piece of hardened steel wire, which is really tiny. I cut it to fit. And if I can slip it down in there to where it goes through the adjoining hole at the other end, I probably have to use some needle those pliers to get that to work. But anyway, I'm going to monkey around with that and see if I can get it in there. And then when I get it in there, I'm going to see if I take a set punch and flatten it out. Maybe hit it with some super glue. I don't know. Freaking jerks. Everybody complains about their jobs. Oh, quality control keeps checking my work. Well, this is why. You know? So anyway, I'm going to mess with that. And uh, I'll let you know how it comes out. I thought better of hitting it. I thought I'd probably break it. I put a daub of hot glue on it. That should hold it in place. And it's, There's another hole on the other end so it went through. It's cradled in two holes. If that hot glue just keeps it from falling out, it'll be fine. All it's got to do is keep this from slipping out of place. It says it's made in Taiwan. Made in... I'm pretty sure that says Taiwan. Yeah, there my eyes focus. That little sticker there says made in Taiwan. Huh. Wouldn't you know it? Alright, anyway, that's how I fixed that. Alright, now I'm going to go install it. Which the trick there... is this. This little uh, actuator rod. You've got to slip it down in a hole inside the door that actually is on the latch which you can't see you just got to feel for it and then this end goes let's see did I put that together right there we go anyway it slips through this hole and then this thing slips through this hole and then this swings down and locks onto it so it stays in place and th because there's nowhere for it to go this end just stays where it's supposed to be but the trick is you got to do all that why well, you can't really see what you're doing and you'll notice that these little studs don't have any threads on them those doofus locks just make their own threads as you tighten them up Kind of funny deal. But anyway, that's how it works. I'm going to see if I can put it on. And it's probably going to take me a while, so I'm not going to make you watch me. I'm going to have to fiddle fart around with it. Alright. Well, it went and got dark on us. And, uh... Ended up having to put the inside of that car back together with the, uh... Old Coleman electric lantern here. And, uh... I didn't get everything I wanted to do done, but I got some of it. I did not figure out that electric door pop for this rear hatch. Anyway, you saw what I did. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys. Alright.